Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a golf and I'm back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Uh, like I said, my name is Van Lungu, and on this channel, we post reactions each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know in the comments section below by dropping us a link, and we'll actually do it for you. So this, so this video is long. I'm going to cut it, I guess, in two parts. That's if my battery even allows it now. So I'm going to be reacting to Is David a Prophet? Part 2. I said I'll check it out and someone actually said I should really, really check it out to see how the argument went. And yeah, so without wasting time, let's get into the video. And a prophecy. Yes. Okay. So what I'm asking you this year is you said that soothsayers are able to tell what's going to happen for Hajj Bible. And you have to explain give there. A, no, give us an example of a soothsayer I am. in the Bible. But are you not like, listening to what I'm trying to listen, no, no, Are you, are you not listening to me? To I'm asking. You know, you before I give you an example, before I give you an example, you have to understand what we're talking about, right? right? Do you have to explain a problem? When you say Jesus, his crucifixion was foretold in the book of Isaiah chapter 53, suffering servant, suffering servant in the book of uh, Isaiah There's 53. There's many prophecies yeah, about Jesus. Yeah, I'm talking about the crucifixion. It's foretold in the book of Isaiah 53, right? Okay. Yes. And it doesn't say Jesus, a man called Jesus, will be put on the cross in the no, year. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't say that. So you have to explain. You have to expand on the prophecy. You have to interpret the prophecy, the words of God, to explain, to make sense of the not prophecy. Really, right? Not really. Let me tell you. But why. is it explicit? Go and read the passage. Okay, is it clear? Yes. Let's read. Let's read. Is it explicit? No. Let's read. Does it say the date, okay. the name, the no, cross? No, let's read. Let's read. Are you talking to everyone? Are you talking to everyone? No, I'm talking to everyone. Okay, let's, let's, let's read Isaiah 53. Let's look at prophecy. We haven't even got to Muhammad, but we'll stick to the Bible. We'll, we'll go to Muhammad. No, 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 him. But you don't want to talk to him. The first Salaam. question I asked you was about Muhammad. Listen, no, you still no, haven't. Listen, we still about listen, David. You see, we still about Saul. So, okay. So let's speak at least to we all learnt one lesson yeah. today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. lesson is when you ask someone the question, understand the question yourself before you ask it to someone. Yeah. Right? You need to know your terms before you. Are. So when you ask someone, who are you? You are a good man. Are you a good man? So understand what you mean by good. The question can ask. The, the person can ask you, what do you mean by good? And then you can give your definition of good. Yeah. Okay, and then that person can dissect your definition as well. So this is what we're doing right now. We need to get the definitions right before we move on to Muhammad. No, Simple. it's showing. And once we get the definitions Adnan. right, Adnan. everything will fall into place. Isaiah 53. Show me. Show me in Isaiah 53 that a man Precise. called Jesus yeah, will be crucified by the Romans. It doesn't say that. Yeah. It doesn't say that. Doesn't okay. say that. Thank you. Yeah. It doesn't say that. So, so how do you link that prophecy to the yeah. crucifixion? How? how do you do that? So, so let me read it, and then we'll see. see it's later. called hermeneutics. Yes. It's called hermeneutics. That's what it's called. I'm sure you don't know what hermeneutics is. I, I don't know what it is. Do you know what it is? Yes, yes I do. Yes, oh, I do. So that's what we apply, right? Okay, right. So, so what we're going to do is that, okay. Um, You're reading something I already know. I right. already I made okay. the point. Well, so I'm asking. Well, I, wait one second, one second. Are you gonna one second, because yeah. you're talking yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, okay, you said that there's no way. I'm yeah. not saying that. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm not saying, okay, I'm saying, not saying anything. You're saying, you're saying that, because you're, you're saying you have to use Hermeneutics, you have to use exegesis. You're saying that Thank we have... Thank you. Right. So what I'm saying to you is this. Am I wrong or right? As as Christians, yeah. okay, any, or anybody who reads this, for me, it'll be clear. Let me read the reason why I think it'll be clear. Before, okay. Because before, you don't want to talk about Muhammad. I, I, I'm, I'm about a disbeliever. Hold for on, example, hold I, you're saying there's a prophecy in the Bible about Jesus. I know. I and, and I come to you as a disbeliever. I say, okay, hold on a second. You're claiming there's something in the Bible. Yeah. So I'll ask you to explain it to me. And then you will go to the book of Isaiah. You're not going to show me a man called Jesus was put on the cross there, by the Romans yeah. in the first century. What time? In a, in a, in a, in a, in a what province day, called Judea. Day, you're not going to show me that. It doesn't exist. What are you talking about? So, so we, let's make it simple. Man. Let's make it simple. Let's not complicate. Let's, don't, don't fight a battle you cannot win. So, 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 so the point is, we both agree. We have to apply. We're not agreeing. You're not letting me read. We have. You don't to want to ask about Muhammad. Okay. Then I say, okay, oh, we, okay. You okay. don't want to talk about Muhammad. So let's talk about Isaiah. You, you don't yeah. want to talk about Isaiah. You obviously don't what understand. Do you, want any, you, you obviously anything? don't understand okay. what a logical discussion is. Well, I'm asking, We're trying to. You said you used Isaiah as an example. So let me read Isaiah. Let me read what your example. Okay, read. Show me where Jesus was crucified. Okay. And it's clear. Does it say Jesus is? We're going to speak. It's clear. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Before you read that, the guy that wanted. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. Read it, 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 read it,
Okay. Who has believed our message and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? Mm. For he grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of parched ground. He has no stately form of majesty, but he should look upon him, no appearance that he should be attracted to him. He was despised and forsaken a man, uh, but of men, a man of sorrows and, 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 and acquainted with grief. And like one from whom men hide their face, he was despised and he did not esteem him. Surely our griefs he himself bore, our sorrows he carried, yeah? yet we ourselves esteemed him stricken, smitten of God, afflicted, but he was pierced for our transgressions. Specific. He was specific. crushed for our iniquities. Uh, oh, specific to who? You said specific. No, 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 you just no, 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 no. use the word specific. No, no, no. Specific to who? He, 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 he was specific to who? For our transgressions. Specific to who? He was crushed for our iniquities, the chastisement of our well-being fell upon him, and by his scourging, we were healed. All of us like trees have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own okay. way. So you read a lot the Lord has caused iniquity of us all to fall on him. Now, Okay. The reason why this is so specific, yeah? so uh, specific. it's so specific that it says Jesus was crucified. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The reason why it's so specific because he was pierced for our transgressions. There's no other um, prophet that prophesied to be pierced. Oh, and you should give me an example John, John. of someone who was pierced. Ah, uh, very good. No, 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 no. Very good. Well, I understand. I understand. I'm trying to help you. No, 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 Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. Oh, wait. Just give me an example. You're going to dig a deeper hole for yourself before you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to save you embarrassment. I'm trying to save you embarrassment. Okay. So, give an example of someone who was pierced for our transgression. Good. Can I? Can I? Can I give an example? Can I? Can I respond? Okay, you finish. You finish. You're going deeper and deeper into the hole. He was chastised of our well-being. No, he, he fell he upon run, him. Yeah. Okay, he was chastised. He was scourged. He was whipped. Okay. And what the point right. is? The okay. point. So I'm saying that only Jesus Christ was prophesied ah, to be pierced very good. for very good. our sin. Very good. Can you so, show me so another? You just, you just, you just, what you just did, you did exegesis. You did, you did exegesis. You, you indulged in. Oh, let me finish. Let me finish. You indulged in hermeneutics. You read a text and then you said. Tell me who else was pierced like that. So you, you you're trying to link. It was clear. Yeah, yeah. Was it clear? It's not. It's not. No. It's no. Not no, no. No. Hold on a second. This is hold not clear. It's not clear. No. no. So I'm a no. prophet. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm a prophet. Yes. 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 I'll tell you what. Okay. Who, let, who me let me explain. Have you read the Jewish commentaries on this passage? Have you? Jewish? No. Yeah. So, so you don't know, right? <laughs> who, who was pierced or not? Right. You don't know, right? But, but Jewish I, I, rabbis. I Bible says. Okay. I rec wait. I recommend a book for you. Christopher North. Christopher North. He has written a commentary on Deutero Isaiah, this part of Isaiah in particular. And the book is called The Suffering Servant in Deutero Isaiah. It's very specific. It deals with this very issue. Go and read the book and then your mind will blown, it'll be blown away. The amount of interpretations, the amount of different meanings of this particular passage are to be found in Christian as well as Jewish literature. So you are one track minded. You know, you can't see anything else. You can only see Jesus. And even for that, you have to explain. You have to explain that this is Jesus. Uh, now, so so I was trying to this, save this 15 minutes to wait. The thing is, I was, I was explaining, I was seeing you. Okay. I was seeing you. Okay. But there's only. So, so you just wasted okay. time. No, no. You wasted say, 10 minutes. Okay, okay. Let's, 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 go to, let's go back to what we're saying. We're so, saying, hold on, hold on. Hold on we're saying, yeah. what's the difference between prediction and prophecy? And I'm saying, prophecy is so specific. It's not specific. Right. Now, you it's can, not specific. can you show me how this is not specific? Because it doesn't. Uh, you are saying it's, it talks about Jesus. I'm oh, saying no, that only Jesus was pierced for our sins. Okay, so you're now you're explaining. For our sins. So you are. Who says it there? Are that he was you pierced for our sins? Are, are you? Are you? Wait, is there an inference here or not? Wait, are you inferring? Adnan. Are you inferring? Adnan. It's just basic, clear English. Was Jesus, according to Christians, you speak to Exactly, Christians. it's basic, clear where, English. Where, where, are you inferring? Jesus, are you inferring? Are you, if if the text said Jesus, a man called Jesus, and the son of Mary, the will be pierced. And crucified and then, yeah, yeah. by the Romans right. in the first Friday, century yeah, yeah, yeah. in the in, in the city called on Jerusalem, the yeah, yeah. and Pontius Pilate yeah, will be yeah. the man responsible for announcing the, man the man death sentence on, on him. Yeah. If I read that, no debate, no question. I wouldn't be discussing yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, no. The fact that all of this is not there 
Yeah. You are saying it is Jesus, yeah. and I'm saying you are inferring. Yeah, you, you are inferring. You're Adnan. saying this. This refers to Jesus. You, you're making that claim. Adnan, was Dave, was Did that, you hear me? Jesus, I heard what you said. You're saying that because it didn't have specifics, t d dates, yes. times, yes. everything else. Yes. What I'm saying to you, yes. what makes it so specific yes. is if it claims exclusivity. Okay. When you, when this thing, for example, okay. there's certain, wait, hold on, hold on. There's, there's certain things, <laughs> there's certain, this certain um, <laughs> things that we can only attribute to okay. God, for example. Very good point. Well, hold, hold on, let's let me assume. No, 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 let me finish. I'll let you finish. Okay. I'll let you finish. Okay. I'll let you finish. Right. There's certain things we can probably... Everyone, the, listen yeah, to him yeah, carefully. Listen, listen. Listen there's certain carefully. things we can only attribute attribute to a certain particular person, like perhaps to yourself or to God. So attributes that he has, that he's all knowing. So specific, you're saying it's specific. So what I'm saying to you is that, Jesus. That here is saying that this man was pierced for the sins of right. mankind. Very good. According to Christians, who was pierced for the sins of, ma for, of, okay. of mankind? Very for good. our transgressions. Very good. Who was that? Okay. Are you going to answer that? I'm coming back to that. No, 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 don't come back. Answer that. Because yeah. I have what according you, you want to ask about to Muhammad. No, to, according to you want to ask about who? Muhammad. According now to Paul. Now we go to the Bible. Yeah, I'm answering the question, Bible. man. Okay, answer that. Yes. Answer that. Yeah. According to Paul, it was Jesus, yes. According to Paul, it was Jesus. Okay, yes. So according to the Bible, according to Paul, Paul. and I believe Paul was a liar. Okay. Okay, I believe. Right. Okay. So, so, so we've talk. agreed. So, so we've agreed that in the Bible it says that it was Jesus Christ. Yes, Paul. That was for, Paul. Wait, wait, in the Bible, no, it's Paul, Paul in the Bible. In the New Testament, Paul says right, right, it's Jesus. Right, right. Yes. Paul. In the New yes. Testament, the Bible. Yes. Uh, why is it so hard to say the New Testament, the Bible? Because yes, in the Bible. Right. Okay. Yeah, in the Bible. So we agree. In the Bible. So we agree. So we agree. We agree in the Bible. Okay. Yes. So we have a prophecy and specific to only one person. Right. Now, very good. Okay. Right. So now let's go back to the question asked. They don't want. Okay. What makes Muhammad a prophet? You haven't answered that. You have not answered. Have, answer. have you explained? Have you explained? Have you explained? You answer. Wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. You answer. Answer. I listen to you. I listen you to you. Can yeah, you listen to me now? Okay. okay. If you, if you, you said. You said. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, no problem, don't worry. You answer. Okay. You answer. answer. We, no, no, we, no, no, we all breathe. We all breathe. It's not on the Answer breathe. the question. Okay. Answer the question. What makes Muhammad a prophet? Answer the question. Answer the question. It's not going to gonna help you. How long will I answer the question for? Ask the question. Can I respond? What makes Muhammad a prophet? Can I respond? Yes. Can I respond? Yes. Can I respond? yes. Using your criteria, that that particular prophecy is specific. He's claiming it's specific. I'm saying it's not. And I am sure he does not understand. I'm not, I'm not, wait, wait. Sorry, I'm going to I'm trying to tell. Answer the question about Muhammad. Okay. Okay. Answer about Muhammad. Okay. You, if you want to walk away, you can walk away. I will walk away if you don't tell us that. Okay, if you can't, if no, you can't have a discussion. You, I don't mind Why are you struggling? No, because are you struggling? I showed you. I showed you. But you don't let me finish. No, 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 no. Yo, you're going to check it. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm sticking to the topic. No, no, no. This is the topic. No, no, no. Prophecy. No. Prophecy no. is the topic we're discussing. No. Yes. Yeah. Prophecy. Yeah. Right, okay. Prophecy is the topic okay. we're discussing. Go back to what I'm Muhammad. going back to the prophecy. Why do you like to talk about Muhammad? Why okay. do Muhammad struggle to talk about Muhammad? I, I yeah. love Muhammad. Yeah. Look, I'm going into my Bible. I have delivered lectures. I'm going into Dave. I'm going into um, hello, hello, hello. I'm going wait, into uh, Isaiah 53. Wait, wait. I'm going to Acts. Yeah, I've gone throughout the scripture. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're free to go to your Quran. Free your mind. Why can you not talk about Muhammad? Can you remain silent? Why can you not talk about Muhammand? Can you remain silent no, for one minute? No, I can't. I want to know you why can't remain silent. No, no. I'm going to talk. Because you're not responding. I'm, I'm responding. No, you're not. You're, you're talking no, you about the Bible. You don't like my response. No, no, no. Because you're changing the subject. Okay. 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 So the question specifically. The question is, why what makes believe? Muhammad a prophet? Yes, I want the answer. And I am asking, what is a prophet? So you're and, and we're still discussing that. It's the same thing. So what is a prophet? It's the same thing. What is a prophet? No, no, no. I've what is a prophet? You, you have over and over again. have not answered I've answered you over and over again. Can we answer it? Okay. So what I'm saying to you is this, right? What I'm saying to you is this, yeah? Can we tell them. Initially, I asked you the question. This is this is summarize. Carry on. You can repeat it. Talk? You can repeat it ten times. No, we, we're going to summarize. Going so, no, 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 stop. Don't run away. Okay. Don't run away. 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 I'm running. I'm standing at the same time. Exactly. But you said you were going to summarize and go. Don't go. Okay. Let's 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 summarize. What you need? Okay. So, Adnan, my friend here. Okay. You said right that. Uh, but I've asked you the question. I've said, what makes Muhammad a prophet? And I asked, what do you, you mean by wait, prophet? Let me respond. You said, I know what you said. You said to me, okay, um, what, you know, it's a fair question. <laughs> but um, you said to me, okay, what, what makes a prophet? Okay, you need to clarify the standard, the terms. And I said, okay, fair enough. All right. So I said, if a prophet comes with prophecies or miracles, you said, okay, now you have to be even more specific. Show me 
You said be more specific. You said what do miracles um, define miracles and prophecy? No, you didn't just want me to say miracles and prophecy. You said define it. I then defined according to me, and I even used um, text like um, Acts two and also um, John eighteen to say this is what according to us uh, a prophecy is. Or prophecy. And I explained how do you get to your prophecy? Second, how do you say? And then you said and then the miracles. I not only explained it to you, I also gave you examples of miracles. For example, raising people from the dead. Um, healing blind and so on and so forth okay and I've said to you right I've given you scriptures I've given you explanations I've given you hermeneutics exegesis yeah, you, you, then you've gone over to David away with all the then evidence, you've gone yeah. to, to David okay and um, you said alright David falls into the category of prophecy prophets I said okay I agree with you okay no, I, I was you wrong. were wrong I was wrong you and I admitted and yeah, I, I put my hands yeah, up no, yeah no, okay no, I, I was wrong no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> okay. God is wrong right. no no we're not, we're not we're not celebrating okay. so yeah 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 but we're, we're fine with that no problem no so what I'm saying you're fair okay so Okay, David falls in the category, yeah? Right, you say, you said you can prove miracles, you can prove prophecies. Yes, fantastic, you can ten prove seconds. it with David, but why can you not prove it ten, with ten Muhammad? Sec ten seconds. Why can you not prove it with Muhammad? Prove it with David, you prove it with Moses, you prove it with Jesus, right, so prove it with Muhammad. Stop. If, right. Stop. Stop. I want you to okay. prove it with Jesus. My time now, you can't okay. interrupt me. I will, I will, no, I will, you cannot interrupt me. I will interrupt you. You cannot I interrupt me. Stick to the subject. No, 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 no. Right, you know what? I'm not going to talk about the subject. I'm going to walk off. No, no, I'm talking about if you don't answer, okay. you don't okay. interrupt. It's my time. No, it's it's my time. Subject, yeah, you so. have to be patient. Okay. One, two, okay. three. Go. Okay. Now Godwin said that uh, that prophecy in Isaiah 53 specific, uh, and then he had to explain why it's specific. Even to explain why it's specific, he had to explain it. Right. Mm -hmm. So we do the we do the same standard. Now we apply the same standard Godwin applied on Jesus and that prophecy in the book of Isaiah, same book, chapter 29, verse 12. We have a verse. It states, when the book is given to the one who is not learned, and it is said to him, read, he will say, I am not learned. And when the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was in the cave of Hira, he received a man, an, a, a, an angel in uh, in the shape of man, and he said, he came and he said, Iqra, read. And Muhammad said, Ma ana biqari in, I am not learned. This is what you call specific. Okay, now watch him reject this prophecy and say, no, this is not Muhammad. And, and amazingly, this incident never happened anywhere else in the entire history of humanity. No other man can be thought of uh, uh, when we discuss this prophecy. So even though Isaiah 53 is vague, he thinks it's specific. And even though this one I just quoted from Isaiah 29, 12 is specific, he will say it doesn't apply to Muhammad. It is something else. Okay, so it is very clear that these people are completely inconsistent when it comes to their standard of prophethood. They apply one standard to Jesus, and when it comes to Muhammad, they completely divorce all those standards. They throw them in the sea. They don't want to talk about them. That's why I'm trying to dissect his definitions. I'm trying to understand what does he mean by prophecy and what is the difference between prediction and prophecy. It's a very important question. Before we start talking about prophethood, we need to understand what it constitutes and what it constitutes according to Godwin, it constitutes ten second, two things. Ten second. One is prophecy, the other one is miracle. And we're trying to understand what is a miracle and a prophecy. And he simply cannot explain what these two things are because he's trying to He's still struggling. Stop. Okay, okay. my time so, is up. Thank you for okay. being silent. So, yeah, so, yeah, that's, that's fine. Two minutes. Can we, can we, um, three minutes? No, 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 two minutes. No, because I want us to dial it. The prophecy. No, 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 it's out of your time, by the right. way. With us? 12. I stop the time, yeah? And if it is given to those who cannot read, saying, read this, they say we cannot read. That's what you just said, yeah? Yeah. You're in big trouble. Right. No, let's, read. Wait, hold on, let's look at the context. No, I'm not a... You're, let's look at the context, let's look at the context, okay. I'm going to remain hold silent. Hold on, hold on, let's look at the context. 
So you, uh, you can read from verse 10. Okay, so no, read I'm from gonna, verse 10. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read. No, if you want to read the context, read. You see, I did not, I did not cut you off. Why can't you give me the same respect? Time is stopped. So, so let me, let me finish. You want the context? Read from verse 10. Let me read what I want to read. You spoke. You go for it. I cut you off. But you said context. Let me read. Don't cut. You're free. You're You're fearful. No, I'm not. Read. Okay, read. I'm fearing. I'm so, you just, just said that this has to be moment, and if it is given to those who I cannot read, that. saying read this, they say we cannot read, okay? So this is obviously talking about we, all right, 11, let's read, read um, 11. The vision of those, the vision of all this has become for you like the words of a sealed document. If it is given to those who can read with the command, read this. Is that also Muhammad too? Carry on. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Did you not see Carry, keep room? reading. Keep reading. Uh, yeah, you want yeah, me to exactly. respond? Do you want me to respond? Do you want me to this respond? No, 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 Do you no, no, want no, no. me to respond? One minute. This is the problem with Muslims. Okay. They will take the Bible. Okay. You think Christians don't, don't know uh, what, they, what the Bible says? Okay. And the context here, if you're saying that's Muhammad, then the verse before it must be I'm Muhammad. Gonna respond to it. But it's saying the verse before I'm gonna it respond is to it. saying yeah. that this person can read. Yeah. Can you? Can you? Can Muhammad read now? The question. Can you respond to that? Okay, I will respond to that. When we read this Bible, no, stick to what we King James. Up. Stick to what we read. No, 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 no. That's that Bible. You read the translation, and it talks about a number this of people. Bible, okay. Bible. But you read it and you used it. Can you make the circle what? bigger? Wait, wait. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Go, are you? Are you, are you do you stand by that? Change no, I'm not saying yeah. this is a Bible. It's not my. I didn't print it. It's not my printed. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't understand how people can even stand to watch this. I really don't. I really, really, really don't understand how someone can enjoy this. At first I was enjoying it. The first part I reacted to was had me intrigued. Like I have to watch to see what happens. But they're going back and forth. As usual, this guy is still not answering the question. I feel like this guy really has the right to call this other person fearful. But they're both wrong. He said Muslims avoid talking about something like talking about Muhammad which is very wrong and he said these people referring to christians adan adnan adnan also said these people referring to christians making him wrong as well you don't generalize everyone based off this debate clearly both of them are heated at this moment he's asking a question he's not getting answers to this guy has defined things according to the way he knows things that's what, that this is what i said before just because someone is defining things the way they know them doesn't mean they are wrong. You can define things in another way. So now, he gave something in Isaiah and he said, no, that wasn't, Adnan, Adnan said it wasn't Jesus. This guy also said something in his ears and said it's Muhammad who said those things. What makes you think you are right? What makes any of them think they are right? According to Christians, Jesus said those things. According to Muslims, um, Muhammad said those things. First of all, these are two different religions. Yes, we, we have differences. Yes, there's going to be all that. But I really don't understand why he still won't answer. He said, uh, what's his name? Godwin's um, definition of things is wrong. If they're wrong, why can't he just define them in maybe an Islamic way and just talk about what makes Muhammad a prophet? It's that simple, guys. It's very, very simple. Anyway, so this is for this first part of this. I watch to the end. I really hope we get someone with this. Otherwise, it's just making Rashid look bad at this moment in time. He keeps on talking about the same, same, same things, same, same things. Just answer the question. The guy is wrong. Fine. Cool. But explain why you think he's wrong and give your own definitions. It's that simple. Guys, it's very, very simple. Otherwise, at this point, both of them, are, I don't even think it's something that I enjoy watching if they keep on doing this. So I yeah, will see how that goes, but I'll react to the second part. So let's get into it.